looked at the TC Electronic Hall of Fame 2 reverb pedal, which is beautiful, really something special. This is also really something special. This is the Electroharmonics Cathedral pedal. If you're familiar with the Electroharmonics Holy Grail, this includes that setting, so it builds on that and expands. With the Holy Grail, it's a really straightforward pedal, but it only has really one control. It has a couple of different settings, spring and hall and a flurb setting. What that is is just a flange setting on top of the reverb. So you can go between those three presets and you have one knob which allows you to increase and decrease how long the sound will take to decay. This guy lets you control a lot more of the dimensions of the sound. This has got a blend control how much of the dry sound versus how much of the reverb sound you can cut the dry sound out completely which gives you some ethereal otherworldly sounds you've got reverb time so increasing and decreasing how long the sound will take to decay damping allows you to go brighter or darker on some of the settings also cuts out certain high and low frequencies feedback controls how much of the sound you're going to send back into the loop and the pre-delay allows you to fine-tune kind of how far away the wall is it has eight presets the grail spring which as I talked about is is the spring that was on the grail pedal accu spring which is a new algorithm and it replicates the sound of six springs hall and room straightforward enough really cool plate reverb and then three extra settings reverse play a note and it comes back to you reverse echo so you can turn it into a standard echo pedal and then the grail flurb which brings that flange effect in. So very versatile, powerful pedal. Let's have a listen to it. And this comes with a pretty good instruction booklet which helps you get started. And the first sound really is the Holy Grail Spring where it tells you to keep the feedback and the pre-delay all the way down, the blend, reverb, and damping tone about halfway at 12 o'clock. And right away that gives you a really sweet sound. <laughs> beautiful sweet reverb sound. Let's just bring the reverb almost all the way up. If you bring the reverb to full, it's infinite reverb, so the, the note never decays, which kind of freeze frames what you're doing, so you might not want to play entire chords through this and blast because you're stuck on that one chord while the band plays on. But it's a pretty cool effect. There's a tap slash infinite button that you can push down. The tap button allows you to control the pre-delay or the echo depending on which setting you're using. But if you hold it in, it gives you infinite reverb. So if you hold that button in, It sustains that for infinite reverb. Now the damping slash tone will make the reverb brighter or darker. If you bring it all the way down, it gives a pretty dark sound. Whereas all the way to the left, it's almost a little too bright. You can already see that this holy grail setting really gives a shimmering beautiful bright reverb playing with the pre-delay a little bit and the feedback Just darken that up a tiny bit blending it all the way taking out your dry sound can give you a really good sense when you're experimenting with these pedals what the actual output sound is like so you can really get familiar with what you're doing. The pre-delay goes as long as two seconds which is kind of long. try the Accu spring so it's not a massive amount different we're gonna bring the settings down to that default so let's put the pre-delay and the feedback all the way down and the other three controls at 12 o'clock 
This is our dry sound. This is our Grail spring sound. The Accu spring. It's not a million miles away from the Holy Grail spring. It feels a little brighter, but it's equally cool as a sound. Just increasing the reverb and sending that shimmering quality into the reverb with the damping all the way to the right or almost all the way to the right that in itself is almost value for money from this pedal it's such a beautiful sound just to give a little more of the blend so you can hear out some of the dry sounds so you can hear. This is a lot nicer than the spring sound on the TC Electronic Hall of Fame reverb. I like that pedal a lot, you can see my review of it in a separate video. But the spring sound just didn't really light me on fire. But just stepping into the door of this pedal with the spring or the Accu spring turned on already, it's, it's really beautiful. Bringing the feedback up and the pre-delay up to about halfway. Shimmering. I enjoy that with the with the blend all the way up so that you can't hear the dry note. That gives a pretty cool sound. It's it's very gothy and ethereal. But with the blend turned down, it's just a sweet reverb sound. So with the hall setting, the instructions again pretty handy to help you get familiar with the pedal quickly and it's telling you to, to have the blend and the reverb pointing straight up 12 o'clock halfway and the damping tone all the way clockwise and the feedback and pre-delay counterclockwise fully. instructions are saying is that you can bring the pre-delay up a lot more to let that sound wash over you and make the room sound bigger. Let's just turn it up a little bit over halfway and give ourselves a bigger room sound. sounds that just sound ghostly and washy. With the feedback all the way at counterclockwise, you can hear those discrete echoes bringing all the other way. Gives you an infinite echo just keeps building so a ton of flexibility in how much feedback you want to give
pre delays and echoes and extra washes and just really fade the sound out or wash the sound out and get very shoegazy. The room setting is very similar, but it's a smaller chamber. So we're going to start with reverb and blend halfway, the damping all the way up and the feedback and pre delay down. <laughs> sound just wash all over all of the, the high ceilings and the stained glass windows coming back to you from the columns and the nave. It just sounds really sacred. The less blend you have though, retains a clarity and with no dry sound. It loses that clarity but gains something in the beauty of the sound plate reverb sound is really sweet. seconds all the LEDs will, will blink and that indicates that you've saved the presetting and then whenever you return to that mode push the mode button in for about two seconds and the little green LED that says preset will come on and those settings will be returned and anything that the controls are set to reverb pre-delay blend those are overridden by the settings that you did in the preset if you adjust one of the knobs it overrides what's on the preset for that one knob. So if you have everything at halfway and you make it a preset, you bring the preset back into play and you adjust the pre-delay all the way to full, everything else stays as is in the preset, but the pre-delay will now be overridden. The reverse setting allows you to have a note sent back to you 
backwards. With the blend all the way up, you can really amplify what this sounds like. With the blend halfway or lower, you can hear the original note. It gives more of a note and then responds. Blend all the way up, you really don't hear the note, just the response. Which is kind of cool. And then you can play with the pre-delay, how long before the note comes back to you. Full two seconds or kind of right away. And with some feedback, you can start to play that note back into the loop and have it come back to you multiple times. And you can make that echo extremely reverby, reverberant. Or by turning the reverb setting all the way down. just a straight echo. And the damping tone all the way to the right reduces the lower harm, lower frequencies in the echo and all the way to the left reduces the higher frequencies in the echo. So you get a muffled echo or a really bright, sometimes a little piercing. Half in the middle is a good balance. Echo, similar settings apply. The reverb all the way to the left. And then the reverb all the way to the right, it's just more shimmering, reverberant echo. And then halfway, turned up just to make the effect a little clearer and we have the reverb all the way down and the damping halfway and a little bit of feedback and pre-delay. So you'll hear discrete echoes. If you just turn that up a lot it's gonna be more like a reverb effect. So you've got a good range of how you want that echo to sound. cut out high and low frequencies depending on which way you've got it turned. Very bright echoes versus more muffled echoes. So a versatile echo, the flurb setting comes from the Holy Grail pedal and this is the flange effect. And the reverb setting controls modulation and the tone and damping controls the resonance. You can hear that flange kind of circling up and down. With the resonance on the damping, what we mean by that is turn the damping all the way up and it just pronounces that flange effect a lot more. Makes you a little more seasick if you bring it all the way down. Lot more subtle in the background so halfway is a nice setting. The further up you get the faster the modulation. And these are some pretty cool sounds. That's the Electro Harmonics Cathedral pedal. I'll put the link to Amazon where you can pick one of these up in the description for the video. And I recommend, if you're into effects at all, the textures you're gonna get with this pedal, I can't recommend it enough. If you have a Holy Grail pedal, I recommend you invest in this too because it's just gonna take it to the next level. So thanks for watching. As always, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you're notified when I post new content. And while you're on the channel, I'd invite you to check out some of my live performances and music as well, or some of my official music videos. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.